Scorpio. Pretty over here to read your February love energies to see what's going on with you guys. Last time I read you guys' love energies, there was witchcraft going on, um, bullying, okay? Um, this week, I'm going to say that I'm seeing... I'm seeing an energy of the same thing going on, but there's but there's also, you know, someone who's entertaining the idea of finally walking away from this situation, okay? Someone's entertaining the idea of walking away from the situation, but they're going back and forth in their mind saying, do I even really have the strength to do this? It's like, there's, there's, because of this, because of there being so many disappointments in this situation, it's like this is causing um, one of the parties to be stagnant, like stuck. Um, what I can explain this as is operating out of au autopilot, okay? Subduing your, yourself or what is it? Um, pulling back from society, okay? Going into solitude, in a depressive type of way, okay? But there's also an energy of knowing that there's a better purpose for you and that there's better things out there, but it's just a matter of being able to have the strength to walk away, okay? I heard it gets so hard to walk away. It's so hard to say goodbye, okay? Even after all the situation, there's somebody here that also found out that someone has is leading a whole double life. There's double life energy, Okay, sneaking out. Someone could have found out that someone has a child or is having a baby and the baby shower is Sesame Street theme or the party is Sesame Street theme, Big Bird or what have you. Okay, I saw that as well. Okay, there's somebody juggling two people and, and not only two people, but two totally separate lives, okay? There's also someone going in the woods to do witchcraft, <laughs> okay? And not the good kind. Not the good kind. Someone's trying to stop something. Stop something that's destined to happen, I feel. Someone, someone trying to interrupt destiny. Okay, this could be either party. Oh, last week I saw it was the aggressor, the bully who was doing this. Okay, but let's see what's going on here now. There's an issue with self control. There's a this, this, yeah. I see a lot of drinking going on as well here. There's a lot of drinking. Okay. But some person is per someone hasn't been picking up their phone, okay? Someone hasn't been picking up their phone. Yeah, I'm sensing uh for some people there was like a separation, but somebody is looking for a second chance or something. Someone could have been offered an apology. For what transpired, okay? Yeah. But there's a party who, who knows that, they, that there's nothing that's going to come from this. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? You may be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Yeah. For some reason, it's like I'm sensing someone exactly Recon reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. It's like there was a separation, and someone is trying to say sorry. But at the end of the day, you know that this is a toxic, toxic situation, and you need to free yourself. Okay. Someone may have came back, come back after getting caught red-handed, and like it's kind of you know trying to act like they want to promise some sort of ring or or uh, or uh, some sort of extra commitment which was more than whatever it was before they left okay so like it's like oh um i'm giving you a promise ring this time it's like stepping it up a notch kicking it up a notch so that someone can think 
that, oh no, they're serious this time, okay? <laughs> okay? But there's a reason behind this. I'm picking up, there's a reason behind this. Okay? For somebody, every time you think you're healing from this situation, it's, it, it, this is a back and forth situation. Every time you think you're healing from the situation, this person comes back and they with this sorry bullshit, okay? Every time you think you're coming out from the cold and you're getting balanced, they come back with the same BS. And for a lot of you, they may use sex as a way to um, <laughs> persuade you, okay? Okay. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? Spirit wants you to know, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Your household situation is improving. Okay? So you may have left this situation or someone may have kicked someone out like i said there's the energy of someone being caught out there doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing and this is like a, a court red-handed energy and it could be that's that someone found out uh, um something about a baby okay it's like this person is 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 promising plans to make plans. But I'm getting third party energy. Okay? I'm getting third party energy here. Yeah, this this relationship is at a standstill, okay? It's being held up by something. There's some sort of block and I'm trying I'm wondering if the if the block was put here spiritually, like one person trying to stop another person's destiny from moving on and being with someone else? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> this, this, is, this is some sort of, yes, this is a block. This is a block. This block, it looks like this block was put here spiritually to stop someone from moving on okay to create illusions around their love life because they they themselves can't move on be careful about somebody wanting to come back and forth just to take your energy okay leaving you depleted player type energy but i'm, I'm sensing there's a there's a there's a player here but the player wants to play, but don't want you to play. <laughs> okay? It's trying to stop you from moving on, but they have something else going on elsewhere, which is weird. Okay? Yes, your idea is a divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Okay? Someone is looking to walk away from this situation. Someone is, is like I said, found out something. Okay? And this is spirits. Listen. You know, yeah, we gave you that idea. We told you what was going on behind your back. Okay? Clear your space. Get rid of clutter and clear the energy around you. And use feng shui. Okay? This is people, places, and things. And, 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 and after, you know, for a lot of you, you kicked this person out or you left this situation, whatever have you. Spirit is saying, you know, get you. I'm going to help you, okay? Prioritize and we're going to help you because this person may have been handling a certain level of responsibility within the home. And um, with the change of this person not being around anymore as much as they used to, you maybe looking maybe needing some type of help and spirit is saying listen i'm gonna help you i'm gonna help you just let me know what you need me to do okay get the big picture okay so for those of you that are 
<laughs> sitting in depression after this situation because for some of you i'm getting the energy where it's like this information was too much to bear okay i'm literally getting the the picture in my mind of someone doing a little bit of detective work and seeing <laughs> looking through looking through the hedges looking through the shrubs and seeing their partner living a whole other life <laughs> okay living a whole other life and then they like well baby baby please it's like you have a you have a you have a whole other life you know and they and they're coming back with a sorry as if you know that's going to be enough and like i said for some of you there's a there's a baby involved okay For some of you, before you even went and got the facts, you, your intuition already led you to this. You already knew what was going on, okay? May have been in, in a little bit of denial. Yeah. There's the energy of not really, you know, wanting to fully move on and being regretful about the situation and sitting in, in heartache and sitting in pain, okay? But what Spirit is saying, like I said before, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Sometimes the, the, the lessons are the blessing, okay? Let this person go um, ruin somebody else's life, okay? <laughs> let them go ruin someone else's life yeah there's mm, let me say this okay there's somebody who's married to this person or found out that this person was married or what have you and um if you were married to this person spirit is just showing me that this is what this is gonna have to be something that you need to give up, something that you're gonna need to sacrifice in order, okay, for you to actually be happy. There's gonna be things, people, places, and things that you're gonna need to give up on your path to being your higher self. Okay. Look at that, okay? There's this is there's someone who's going to need to choose, okay? And this is two women right here. This is giving me two mothers, one may be pregnant. Okay? This is a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio woman, and then this may be a Taurus woman over here or whoever, a Libra, okay? But there's some type of sacrifice that's going to need to be made. Okay? There's a choice Someone could, could be saying they're going to leave their wife or they're going to leave their marriage. But there's something that needs to um, be given up, okay? And like I said, there's that energy of witchcraft being done and, and under the moon in the woods, okay? I'm just going to say that. I'm calling it how I see it. And that's for some people. You would know, okay? If you're having night terrors and sleep paralysis, okay, this is here, Okay? It's because witchcraft is being done. If you're having night terrors and sleep paralysis, this is the energy of being pinned down to the bed. This is the energy of being stuck in your dream state, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this this is this is the energy of feeling paralyzed. That's the word I'm looking for. The energy of feeling paralyzed because it's like you did you you you're doing this. This is what you did to me. Being stuck in in like replaying, you know, the situation. And and this is this is being, you know, kind of like being out of your mind, trying to move on, but being out of your mind, it, it, drinking, okay? Needing to come out of stagnation, though, 
okay? Because again, like I said, spirit is, is giving me, you know, the message that, listen, this, this is not where you need it to be. It's going to be fine. Because staying in this situation would have caused um, even more drama, even more heartache, even more pain, okay? Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience, okay? At the bottom of the deck, Spirit is saying, I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So if you're watching this video, <laughs> okay, you may have gotten some answers here. Also by intuition, okay? Your intuition is, is being brought directly from spirit, okay? These nudges that you're, that you're getting about this situation, you're getting directly from spirit, okay? It's like I'm getting the energy of the, them saying, you know, the person who's doing all the fuckery in this situation, like, calm down, calm down, calm down, okay? It's like they got um, confronted about what happened, and they're like, just, no, just relax, okay? Just relax. Okay? Trying to keep you stuck in an illusion. Telling you, selling you dreams, Okay? But in reality, I'm getting an energy of get, again of two different women. Someone is dealing with two different women. It may also be a same-sex relationship that you're that you're dealing with here. Yeah, this person may be okay. <laughs> okay, and you know that's another thing. Okay, that I'm picking up right now is like this person is using sex as a way to like, you know, calm down, calm down. Okay, that I'm seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing that, okay? But someone knows that this is the same pattern. This is a this is a back and forth pattern, okay? You know, it's like this person is in and out. And they keep using the same tactics to um reel you back in. But every time they reel you back in, it's like this time they're promising something more and they're promising something more, okay? They, they try to level up their sorry a little bit, you know? Maybe this time it's with a gift or something, okay? Who knows? This person is very, very manipulative, okay? This person is narcissistic. You, this is not going to go anywhere. <laughs> this is not going to go anywhere. I just heard blocked. You may have blocked this person, but this 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 connection is blocked in some ways, okay? This connection is blocked. You don't this is not something that you want. Take control over your life. This person is very controlling. They may try to control your finances as well. Okay. There's a, there's there's also um a low a energy of this person being sucked of their energy, okay? You guys, Scorpio, this is you that's 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 like sort of, you know, being bullied and 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 are the victim of black magic and all these other things, a victim of narcissistic abuse, okay? Um, you need to go get some get your batteries charged near some water, okay? Because this is taking a lot of energy out of you. And and if this is the a certain type of magic, you may be even purposely being drained of your energy, okay? In order to block you from a certain destiny, okay? You're going through a change and a transformation right now. Spirit has their hands on the situation, okay? This is blessed. This change is blessed. It may not seem like it, but getting out of this situation is a blessing, Spirit says. 
Trust your wisdom. You know exactly what you need to be doing. Okay? And if you left this situation or you're making steps to get out of this situation, you are doing the right thing. Someone needs to take sea salt baths every day for nine days. Okay? All right, Scorpio. I hope that helped you guys.